and all I gotta do is turn the label to the right answer now and once I get to it I'll be able to get the right answer and I'll be able to write it on my answer sheet and if you place it on top of this one from far away it looks like a regular water bottle cap and in between both bottle caps is a little bit of space and that is enough space for us to store our valuable information aka our cheat notes what's up pranksters welcome back and yes, you read the title right, it's correct. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys five clever ways to cheat on a test using a water bottle. Now, I'm not trying to get you guys into trouble. Please note that, I'm not trying to get into trouble. I'm just offering some simple alternatives to studying. Not all of us are that smart guys, so we gotta do what we gotta do to pass a test. And again, I only teach you these things so you never have to use them. <laughs> that was funny, right? <laughs> Anyway guys, this is just for entertainment, so I hope you guys like these ideas, and if you do, give this video a big thumbs up. Please continue supporting my channel, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so right now. Turn on all bell notifications. Let's get these going guys, a thousand likes are appreciated. Check it out. Okay, so the reason why I'm focusing on water bottles today is because water bottles can go unnoticed. Basically, it's an essential to have in class because we're all human and we all require water. We can't live without water, guys. So a lot of teachers will allow you to have your water bottle handy with you, whether it's on top of your desk or on the floor below you. Regardless, guys, water is always present in a classroom. So we're gonna take advantage of that and use nothing but water bottles to pass tests in this video. And just so you guys know, I'm only gonna be using these cheap water bottles from Walmart. You don't need anything fancy, you don't have to go out there and buy some expensive water. And for this first one, it's very similar to one I did a few years ago. Although this one is easier to set up and it's easier to use. And let me show you how guys. Just know though that you will need two bottle caps. Just like this. And let's get to it. See what I like about these cheap water bottles guys is the cap. Just look at that cap. It's so thin. Now if you look at other water bottles, their caps are a bit larger. They're a bit longer. And these are very thin and that is perfect because we're also going to need another bottle cap and if you place it on top of this one from far away it looks like a regular water bottle cap and in between both bottle caps is a little bit of space and that is enough space for us to store our valuable information aka our cheat notes so here i have a strip of paper I'm going to make it smaller though, so I'm able to have enough room for my notes. And I'm going to go off by the size of my bottle cap, so it can't be too wide. About half an inch will do. And as far as length, I'm going to go with 4 inches. So we're limited just a little, but that's fine. Look at that. Here's our strip. And now we're going to fold it like an accordion. So maybe half an inch. And then keep folding until you run out of strip. All right, perfect. Here's our little accordion. Once you have made the fold, you guys can write on both sides notes that you will need for your test. For example, A, B, C, D, E, F. Just in case you guys forget which are the first six letters of the alphabet. And you guys can also put five times two equals 10 because a lot of people don't know their times tables all the way to five and this is just an example of course guys i know you guys are smarter than this but add your notes on both sides and you want to pack this with really good information try to fit as much info as you possibly can and once you have all that information on your little cheat note fold it back up just like this. One end we're gonna glue to the bottle cap. So just apply a little bit of glue on there and then center it on the inside of the bottle cap like so. See how well it fits inside the bottle cap? <laughs> it actually looks like I'm talking. Hey guys, please subscribe to Next Raker. He's a really cool guy. <laughs> anyway, the other end, you guys guessed it, we're gonna glue it on to the other bottle cap. So once it dries up on this end, this other end, we're gonna apply 
hot glue on the center of the cap and then position this end of the cheat note in the middle right on the center and look guys we can fold it up and it fits in perfectly from far away it'll look like a normal bottle cap but of course we all know our cheat notes are in there all right guys, so from far away, can you guys tell which of the water bottles is the one that has the cheat notes? Well, it's this one because I already told you about it, but the cap doesn't look suspicious at all, guys. I've seen water bottles with caps that look like this. This one is a little thin one, but we won't be using this. Now our cheat notes are underneath the top bottle cap. So just leave it as is, guys. Go through your test. If you don't need it, don't look in there, but eventually you'll stumble upon a question that you just don't know the answer to. That's when this comes in handy. All you guys gotta do is lift it up and look at all the answers right there. How simple is this? Look at the length of my cheat note, guys. Front and back. So there's plenty of room to put information in there. If you were to fail this test, then you did something wrong, guys. You definitely did something wrong because this method pretty much guarantees you an A or an A+. For these next few ideas, we're gonna be using nothing but the label. If your water bottle doesn't have a label, it just won't work. You must have a label. The bigger the better, but size isn't that important unless you have a lot of notes that you wanna sneak into class for your test. But for this example, guys, we're just gonna use this water bottle from Walmart and notice that these cheap ones have a smaller label. But that's fine, guys, we can work with this. Let me show you how. I'm not a big fan of the label because it's small, as I just mentioned, but it still works. So we're gonna peel it off. Well, we don't have to peel it off. Let's just undo it and leave it as is. And now we gotta get ourselves a cheat note. So for example here, I'm gonna trim this a little bit more, but it should be a little bit smaller than the label so we can tuck it underneath. So something like this will work. Okay, so now we're gonna trim off the length. This will do. And look at all that space we have. We can write all our science stuff, all our math equations, our spelling words, whatever you guys need for your test, write it on here. For example, it could be spelling, words, math equations, and pretty much anything, guys. Just put it on there, write small if you need to fit all your info in there. Once you have this, you're ready to put it on your bottle. So again, we're gonna tuck it underneath with our text facing the bottle. So basically the blank space will face us. So tuck it underneath guys and then place the label over it so it'll keep it in place. Look at that, how simple is this, huh? And luckily this label still has some adhesive on this end so I don't need to glue it, I don't need to tape it down. All I gotta do is lay it down and that's it. Nothing to see here. This is a regular water bottle but if you are to look at an angle, you should be able to see your text, all that information that you put down on there. So use your information wisely, guys. Get an A on that test, just like this. Oh man, this test is kind of hard. I understand nothing, but I do have my cheat notes right here. And I can pretend, guys, like I'm gonna take a sip of water, and in the process, I'll be able to look inside the water bottle and look at my notes and there they are so i have nothing to worry about guys my notes are right there and i'm surely to get an a if i use all that information that i stored underneath that label this next method is the simplest one out of them all it's very easy guys although you will have to write really really small so nobody notices anything especially not your teacher so if your teacher wears glasses most likely they will not see it guys so just hope that your teachers have horrible horrible vision like most do already like i said if your teachers have horrible horrible vision then that will play in your advantage because guess what we're gonna write on our water bottle label we gotta write small though so for example let's write two times two equals four see but from far away, you can't really tell. And it's best if you guys write on text that's already there. For example, right here, it has the, it has the manufacturing information. So I'm gonna use my black pen and write. From far away, you can't see it. But once you get really, really close, pi equals 3.14. At least that's what I could remember from school. So write on all the text, guys. 
for example, the barcode, write on it. I'm gonna write my name. You can't see it from up close, but if your teacher's way out there, across the room, they won't be able to notice this, nor the class niche next to you. So, he, so this is how it would play out. Like I said, guys, this method is best if you know your teacher has a vision problem. If they have bad vision, they won't be able to see your notes clearly on the label. If you don't know they're there, guys, then you can't really spot them. I would have to tell you, hey, look, cl look closely. Here are my notes. But nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have this on my desk. And while I'm doing my test, I'm going to get stuck eventually on a question. And I just got to look for the right answer, which I already know I wrote it down. Oh, here it is. It's on the barcode. And that's how easily I can pass a test, guys. Since we used the inside of the label, guys, we're still gonna work with it, but we're gonna do something different, and it'll be easier for us to look at our notes while taking a test. All right, so first thing we need to do with this water bottle is to make the label turn. Now, at this point right now, it can't turn. We can't move this label because it's stuck on there. There's adhesive holding it in place. And we want to be able to move this label whenever we want. So here's what we do. We're going to peel off this label completely. So be careful though, we don't want to damage it. So let's set this aside. Let's locate that glue residue because we don't want this water bottle to be sticky. So once you locate it guys, apply some tape on it. To block it just like this of course it has to be clear tape we can't have it any other way and fill the water bottle guys make sure that it doesn't stick to you and nope we blocked off the adhesive residue here we'll do the same to the label and we can easily locate it on each end so apply some clear tape on each end at this point we blocked off the glue residue from the label now we're gonna make ourselves a little window on this label and the perfect spot for that window is where the barcode is located every water bottle has a barcode pretty much so once you locate that barcode guys we're gonna cut it off so for example the barcode is right here and I'm gonna start cutting it out see how simple it is guys so we cut off the barcode now let's create our cheat note and that shouldn't be hard we're gonna cut out a small strip thinner than the actual label that way we can hide it underneath so about this size works see if we place it on it the label's still bigger and that works for me guys so on it i'm gonna write all the information i need all my cheat notes will fit on here i'm gonna put all that information that i normally can't remember and hey if you guys can't remember your social security number why not write it on there <laughs> i wouldn't do that though but that's what i'm saying write all that stuff you can't remember once you have your cheat note wrap it around the water bottle once you have done that, tape it on or glue it on. I'm gonna go with tape. Make sure it's really tight, guys, so it doesn't move. Now let's place our label over it. And here's the thing though, guys. If you did cut your window at the bottom, make sure that all your information is at the bottom of your cheat note. That way you have easier access to it with the little window. And let me show you how. First, let's wrap it around. Not too tight though, so it's loose and you're able to move it. See guys, the little window is at where it says next. But if I'm trying to hide it, I'll just move it over. And see, it's just blank. From far away, it'll look normal and you can easily get away with cheating on a test this way. There's really nothing wrong guys if you take a sip out of your water bottle. It's in the classroom, everybody has one and everybody gets thirsty so everybody picks up their water bottle. Now again, you do this when you get stuck on a question for example, right now, I'm stuck on a question that I just don't know the answer to. But I know I have a lot of info here that will definitely help me with that question. And all I gotta do is turn the label to the right answer. Now, and once I get to it, I'll be able to get the right answer and I'll be able to write it on my answer sheet. This method can never go wrong. All right, guys, well, we already used the top. We already used the middle of the bottle. Now, let's use the bottom. And this one is quite simple as well. You can easily get away with this. All you need is a sheet of paper and a water bottle. 
It doesn't even have to have a label. It doesn't even have to have a top. Just as long as there's water in there. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is a 16 ounce water bottle. Now, the size of our cheat notes is gonna basically equal the size of the bottom. This method is so simple, guys, but it definitely works. And it's one of the more reliable ones. So the way you set up this cheating method is you look at the bottom of your water bottle. Depending on the size, will determine the size of your cheat note. So for example, my water bottle, I'm gonna trace on a sheet of paper. Then I'm gonna go all the way around till I have made an outline of the bottom. And it doesn't have to be the most perfect circle. Look how ugly that looks, but that's fine. We're gonna trim off a little bit more. But first, let's write our cheat note. And here, and this is enough space to write a bunch of information that you'll need for your test. But since I'm really smart, I don't need to cheat. I'm just gonna write cheat notes on here. And then a positive message. <laughs> all right, that's just for fun. So now we're gonna cut this out. And I'm just gonna go all the way around. Okay, it's not a perfect circle and that's fine. Since I don't want it to stick out, I'm gonna trim off just a little bit more guys. So I'm gonna go around it again and I'll be trimming off a little bit more of the circle. I wanna be able to conceal it really, really well underneath the water bottle. So now I'm gonna take my cheat note. I'm gonna center it on the bottom of the water bottle. Once I have it on a good spot, I'm just gonna stick it on with some clear tape. We only need one little piece guys. So just place it on one side and that's it. Just one side, that's all it takes. That's it, you guys can't see it, right? Especially if you're taking the test, place it on top of a piece of paper. It'll be even harder to spot. But luckily you guys can tilt it just a little and your cheat notes are right there. Simple stuff, right? No one will know it's there but you. This method is definitely gonna make my life a whole lot easier. All I gotta do is just be there taking my test with my water bottle on my desk any kid does that and when I get stuck on a question I lift it up just a little and there are my cheat notes. I can start grabbing information from that cheat note and placing it on this test and I'm guaranteed an A guys. See how simple these methods were guys? Very easy to do especially if you have a water bottle handy. Again, I don't want you guys getting into trouble. It's just nice to know these things. You never know when you're gonna have an emergency and you didn't study for a test and you know, you do what you gotta do, like I said. So if you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something today, I hope you gave it a big thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber yet, I hope you subscribed and turned on all bell notifications. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate everybody's support. I'll see you pranksters in my next video. Now that it dried up, it should look a little something like this. And look guys, I pull it out and there are my notes. And that's it. Whenever you need to use it, just peel it and your answers will be right there. And it's ready, look at that. Both pieces are joined by our notes. So all we gotta do is put everything back together. It snaps in and that's it. Can't really tell that there's anything fishy about this, right? So now you are able to use this in class.